Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town and today is the 15th day of spring and it is Egg Festival so I wanted to share that festival with you guys, it's my first time participating so I'm very excited to see how it's gonna look like I remember the Egg Festival on Harvest Moon 64 was one of my favorite events so you had to actually go around the town and find the eggs before the other villagers and yeah I'm hoping this time around it's gonna be just as fun uh, but before we do that I'm just gonna do my little chores so let's water these so I bought a lot of strawberries I think so far these are the most valuable crops and I've just recently leveled up to the iron watering can so it is a tiny little bit faster so we're gonna do that also I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who watched my first impressions video it had a really good reception and yeah it seems like a lot of new people are joining the channel so I just want to give a warm welcome to everybody and I hope you'll enjoy the story of seasons content that we have on this channel but yes yeah, so these are my strawberries I'm still struggling a little bit with money I'm saving now I need to get 3000 G's to buy a bigger bag also actually because I'm struggling it's always full you know what let's just put a few things away So you actually have to craft everything, so I have to craft this box. Oh, and it's full, so I'm gonna have to craft a second box and put somewhere, because it's already full. So if you guys don't know, in Pioneers of Olive Town, oh, let me just get my bucket, because you actually do have a bucket, so that's one of the new tools. You also have a leash, so you can take a, a walk with your pets, and if you walk uh, for a few minutes, they will get some friendship points. So there's puddles after it rains and when you uh, pick up the puddles you get clay and then you can use that clay to make mortar and like bricks and other resources and materials so that's very useful to take care of that so i'm gonna take care of my little chicken i just have one chicken so far in previous story of seasons games you could just grab the egg and put it in the incubator right but i don't have any incubator now so yeah, I'm just stuck with <laughs> one chicken for... I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get the next one. And then I fixed this bridge and I'm gonna go to my barn that I had to fix as well. And take care of my little cow, take some milk. And so actually you don't need... There's no milker in this one, so you're saving a lot of time with that. And also the food, like you just put the food here and it's it piles up there so you don't have to put the food every day, which is good. Also, just to give you another little update, also these big puddles, you can take the bucket and empty them. But it takes a, a long time, maybe we can <laughs> do that later and then you get some treasures. And with the treasures, you can show them to Reina at the museum and she will look at them and you can get some different sometimes uh, valuable items and sometimes not so as you can see here we have a horse so i'm looking forward to uh, <laughs> fixing this i need lots of materials to fix that and we're gonna get a horse soon so i'm really really looking forward to that also there's another mine here but i haven't done a lot of mining so far but i need to do that i need to get some silver to upgrade my tools um, well, actually, I need more iron too. I feel like I need everything. Uh, I also have these little makers. So this one is an ingot maker. You would put your iron here to get some ingot. These are log maker. You know what? Uh, I mean plank maker. So you put three logs and you get one plank. Uh, so ideally, I should always try to have everything working at all time. But sometimes I forget. And yeah, it takes quite a long time. So it reminds me, I don't know if you guys have played my time at Porsche, but it kind of reminds me of that. So you have lots of different machines and you need to put stuff to craft and it it's not like instant crafting, right? Um, 
yeah and this is my cap okay all right so let's go to the egg festival and <laughs> you guys if you you're never gonna miss the egg festival because three days earlier victor comes to your place and tells you about the egg festival and then for the three next days whenever you talk to someone they just talk about the egg festival so you <laughs> you really can't miss out uh but yeah let's just jump into it let's go in town and yeah i'm really curious to see what what it's gonna be like i hope it's gonna be like in harvest mode 64 that would be so good if we actually get to go around and find some eggs but yes let's see all right so from now this is olive town's annual spring event this is the opening of the egg festival yay everybody's so happy um so everywhere around the city they've hidden some eggs so let's find them oh yes so there is one rule okay everybody have fun and everybody be friendly during your search and oh that's so nice <laughs> okay all right so it's gonna be like in harvest moon 64 so really really excited to find more eggs than my other than the other people and yes yeah, so let's start please prepare okay yes i'm ready i don't know if there's anything else i can prepare but all right oh and the town is kind of decorated there's these little garlands okay all right uh let's see oh that's amazing so actually if you talk to the person you're dating you can search eggs together so you can form a team or if you talk to victor you can search by yourself so <laughs> Since I just started and I don't have any friends, I'm gonna have to search by myself. But you know what? That's okay. Look at this town. That's so pretty. So I think I need to go talk to Victor, right? For the event to start. Wait, where's everybody actually? Where are they? Actually, I'm currently working on building this shop. Oh, okay. So they're all up here. Oh, Demon is all by himself. Okay, yeah, so you really need to date someone. You can't you can't just pick a friend and be like, hey, do you wanna pick up eggs with me? Find eggs with me. Alright, um Alright, so you, you know what? Let's just start. Let's make this short and sweet. Egg festival is so much fun. Are you ready to start? Of course. Let's start. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of anxious. <laughs> um, in Mineral Town, you didn't have... Oh, maybe you don't actually have to do anything. Oh. Yeah. I thought I... I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought I was going to run around and find the eggs by myself. Um, that's okay. It's so cute. I love the little cutscenes. But yeah, I wish you actually had to go around and find the eggs. Is that it? So there's no way to win, so... Um, did you guys gather all the eggs? So Sadie said she got three. And <laughs> Jesse and Simon got <laughs> one together. All right. Um... This is the end of the egg festival. All right, so I have to say, <laughs> to be honest, I'm a tiny bit disappointed. I was looking forward to actually doing this festival because I know from what we've seen of the game, like I know like the pet race looks like you actually have to do something and there's lots of festivals where it really looks like you have to interact and do stuff. So yeah i was really looking forward to this one but you know what it's okay there's some sugar cane here okay you know what guys what should we do oh yeah i also made this little things to get mushrooms but i'm not getting any mushrooms so far on it so you know what we're gonna do um okay my bags is full so let's ship my egg and my milk and then I think I'm just gonna go mining a little bit just for the end of the day because I'm running short on a lot of stuff. You know what? 
Let's see if I can make another of these boxes. So for this, I need five wooden planks, just the regular planks, which I do. Like this. All right. And as you can see, my skills are like the first levels go up rather quickly, but then it starts to get slower as well. Um. So basically, yeah, if you guys don't know for the tools, so your levels will make that you get tired less slowly and you're just better at using the tool. But if you want to have like a bigger range for the tool, like if you want to water more than one crops at once, you really need to like improve the actual tool. So it's not just the level, right? So your skill level and the tool level are two different things. So just gonna put a few things. I'm, I'm gonna put everything away actually. I'm gonna go mining. So let's try the new mine that I haven't. You know what? I'm gonna pick these later. I haven't been to the new mine. So I'm gonna take a look at that and see if we can get some silver. Okay, so I think there's gonna be some moles coming out sometimes, and if you hit them, they can drop something. Okay, let, oh, 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 let's see. Ah, oh, yes. They do. So, the mining is pretty straightforward. You just, like, you can't use the hole, right? Except on some special uh, stuff, but you just break the rocks. And then you have the ladder. Sometimes the ladder is under a rock, so you're gonna have to break the rocks to find it. And oh wow, there's a lot of moles. Oh, oh no. Okay, all right. So you have to be careful because they can hit you. So this is a treasure that I just got. So these little things, uh, you bring them to Reina at the museum and she's the one who's gonna be able to inspect them. So these rocks are not too valuable, so you know what, I'm just gonna go down deeper. So this is the iron, which I need, but I also want to find silver. Because actually if I get a silver, I can craft a sprinklers, which I'm looking forward to. Also it says you can have a maximum of a hundred sprinklers on your farm. So, I'm curious to try that one day, like, <laughs> maybe in the late game, I can see what happens when you have 100 sprinklers on your farm. I don't know if... I feel like the performance of the game is gonna really struggle. Ooh, so I think that's silver right there that I've got. So, okay, I need... Oh, actually, the stairs right there. So, on the first mine that's near your house, there are 10 levels. So I don't know how many levels there are here, but let's try to go down and... Oops. Oh, yeah, if you, if you touch it, it really hurts. These moles are everywhere. All right, let's get... Oh! Oh no, my bag is full. Ah! Uh, okay, should oh you know what you know one thing I really like in this game is that you can actually put your tools in your little tool bag So they're not as accessible, but it really gives you more space to play with which is so useful So let's just get rid of the items that we don't need. Also, I really like the fishing in this game actually All right, so this is the glass stone I see so I'm guessing maybe with this, we're gonna be able to craft some glass things. I'm not sure. And also when you get new items. So yeah, I think I've just unlocked these. So this is the flower maker or I guess like a powder maker because I can use coffee bean, cacao and corn and some herbs to uh, transform them using that. And this one is an essence maker. So it looks like if you use a flowers and some herbs, you can make some essence. So that's interesting. And you can have up to 20 on your farm. But I think all of the makers, you can have 20 each on your farm. 
but they take a lot of space. Okay, alright, let's continue. But I'm curious to see what we can do with the glass stone. <laughs> okay, let's try to hit it this time. Okay, alright, we've got another treasure. We're definitely gonna have to pay a visit to Reina after this. So let's see if there's more than 10 floors this time. Oh, so you can actually fit. Oh, okay. Let's see if if it's like in Mineral Town, you need like a really good fishing rod to be able to fish in the mine. Let's see if that's the same here or if we can actually just go ahead and... Ah! So if you guys don't know how it works, when it's blue and green, you have to hold... Why and when it's red you really need to make sure you don't hold it and you need to get the okay so I didn't get anything special but let's see I'm sure there's some unique fish in there uh, so when you get a fish for the first time you can bring it to the museum and you put it in the aquarium Alright, so I don't know if there's any special fish, but I'm definitely gonna come back here eventually. And okay, so let's let's get to the bottom of this. Maybe there's 20 floors. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of minerals actually. So I feel like mining is not as exhausting in like mineral town, for example, because you don't have to uh use the hole to find the ladder right so it's really uh, so much easier I feel like to just go down as much as you can and I feel like now each floor is getting kind of bigger um, actually I am <laughs> running out of energy quite soon and I don't have any food I'm actually all of my crops I'm selling them because I'm really short on money right now so I'm not cooking or buying food too, too much, but I'm gonna have to do that eventually because I don't have a lot of energy. In Mineral Town, whenever I had to go mining, I would bring the medicine that you could buy from the clinic, right? But I, so far there is no clinic here, so uh, I don't know uh, if there's any similar item that really replenishes a lot of energy at once. Or I'm gonna have to find which recipe is the best. Okay, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to go to floor 15. Sometimes it's actually kind of hard to aim. Sometimes I feel like if you're just a little bit off, it's like like this, right? <laughs> Even though I'm facing the proper way. Alright. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna get this one. And let's do this one and after that I'm gonna go up. Oh, it's already 1 30 a.m. I just yeah, so I actually time goes by when you're inside. Oh Okay, no, I, I was thinking there was a cutscene or something happening Um. Okay. Yeah, you know what? It's gonna be 2 a.m. I think at 3 a.m. You just collapse You pass out and you wake up the next day at like 10 uh, I did that once but I don't want it to happen again because you lose a lot of time so let's hurry back to bed if I have time I don't know if it's at 2 a.m. or at 3 a.m. that you pass out um, but also let's put a few things there actually I can I don't know if I have that fish at the museum I know I do have this one already so let's make a silver ingot yay my first silver also my cherry tree is almost ready but oh so you pass out at 2 a.m uh, <laughs> and then after that so i mean 300 today let's i think you wake up at 10 if i'm not wrong let's confirm this and yes, you wake up at 10, so you lose a lot of time. Uh, yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, so on that note, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. 
I'm gonna be seeing you. I have a few live streams planned for this game and I'll be making a lot more videos as well. So feel free to click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover on Pioneers of Olive Town, just let me know in the comments and I try to read and respond to all the comments. So yeah, all right. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a good day.